hormones, the cancer connection. We have already covered what cancer is and the hormones of cancer. And now today we're going to cover the rest of the story. We're going to cover the hormone-focused cancer care. So welcome once again. I'm Marcia Jones. I'm a nurse practitioner. I am certified in functional medicine and I specialize in hormone management. My website is marciajonesnp.com, and this is where I do hormone-focused functional medicine clinic that empowers women to live a life of vitality and reduce their risk of hormone-related cancers. Because, listen, ladies, we are all in a mess. Sometimes it's PMS. Sometimes it is um, irregular menstrual cycles, whatever it is. There's some type of a hormonal imbalance that can affect our mood or our bodies. And those, you want the moods, you want the the discomfort to stop, but I know that in the end, I'm helping you to reduce your risk of a hormone-related cancer. So that is why this is what I do. This is why I'm so passionate about bringing this to as many women as I possibly can. I want to make you feel better and and, uh, and prevent you from developing a hormone-related cancer. <clears throat> this is day three. So as I said, we're going to learn how to change the odds. No matter what your risk is for developing a hormone-related cancer, we're going to work on changing the odds. So once again, the definition and the basis for our hormone-focused cancer care, this is a lifelong genetically predisposed metabolic disease of the mitochondria that requires a lot of energy resulting from an immune system that has been broken by toxic exposures and lack of nutrition. It is fueled by inflammation, which is rapidly on the rise, targeting estrogen-dependent reproductive organs and the number one cause of cancer death in the United States. So hormone-focused cancer care, we got a lot to cover here, and that is the definition that we're using to cover it. So a, a new approach, this is my proposed approach and the way that I want to go forward with all ladies that I take care of. Protect, repair, prevent, conquer, and thrive. This is the way we need to look at cancer care because cancer is lifelong, meaning there is no cure. There is always a risk for recurrence. And for this reason, identifying risk factors that can be modified and learning how to do lifestyle changes that can last you a lifetime is where it's at. This is not a quick fix. This is not a fad. This is not a give you a handout, let you set out to do it for yourself. This is true rebalancing, true treatment, true information that is going to help you change your life. Cancer is genetically predisposed. So knowing your background, your family history is very important. Genetics can be altered though. Most people think that just because they have a family member that has been diagnosed with cancer, that there's nothing they can do. They can't beat the odds. Well, I'm here to tell you that yes, you can beat the odds. This is where you get to change the future. So cancer is a metabolic disease. It is central to metabolic disease and central to metabolic diseases is insulin, inflammation, and obesity. We have talked a lot about those three things. That is what metabolic disease is. And there's even a term called metabolic syndrome that is for someone who is overweight, has high blood, pr high blood pressure, um, diabetes, high cholesterol. All of those things are metabolic diseases. But now this metabolic disease, this is going into cancer. This isn't just that other group of things that we've called a metabolic syndrome. Cancer is a metabolic disease as well. So if you start to look at the big picture, this is where traditional medicine is failing us because it isn't just one disease process. This is all linked together. It's just that we had identified them as those other things up until now, and now it's turning into cancer because our rates are skyrocketing and out of control. We need to do something about this metabolic syndrome of insulin, inflammation, and obesity. And so by managing these things, you're changing the course dramatically. This is We do this with proper nutrition, activity, stress reduction, and guess what? It's not as hard as you might think. So cancer also, we have talked, is a diagnosis, excuse me, a disease of the mitochondria. And those mitochondria, they are the powerhouse of every cell, the master of our metabolism. So those are the two big things, mitochondria metabolism that we've talked about with cancer management. They're the core of functional medicine and they're the core of functional medicine, hormone related focused cancer care. So the mitochondria, they have to have specific cofactors, nutrients, micronutrients. They can run without glucose. 
So when we treat specifically to the mitochondria, we're changing the course of everything. When we fix that mitochondria, we are fixing cancer. We are working on a cancer care that's going to make you come out better and stronger instead of weaker and feeling destroyed and demolished. Cancer, it requires a lot of energy. When those cells start turning over, they turn over fast and they will literally suck the life out of you. So when we want to replace energy, we want to do it with nutrition. We don't want to just eat. We want to have real food with real nutrients because eating with intention and purpose and not just putting food into us will help us change the course of cancer care and metabolic disease, hormone balance, and everything else that falls underneath of that. You want to get energy from lean proteins, healthy fats, complex carbohydrates. I call it the mito food plan, not the keto food plan, but the mito food plan, because we're not using sugar. We're not doing simple carbohydrates. We're doing complex carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and we're organizing them in just the right way that they boost our energy, they feed our body, and they starve out the cancer cells because cancer runs off of sugar. It doesn't run off of fuel from the other mito supportive nutrients. Cancer results from an, an immune system that has been broken. So our surveillance system is our defense system. It's supposed to find the threats and protect us and get rid of them before they can hurt us. Well, when there's a damaged cell and you've got a broken immune system, it's like a camera that didn't pick it up. And so it gets to go out of control before it's found. And usually by the time it's found, it's cancer. And it's cancer that has progressed to a point that is causing symptoms and it's going to take a little bit more to attack it. So a weak immune system is not able to fight, which allows those cancer cells to replicate really, really fast and take over. So when we fix the immune system, we start to fix cancer. We start to decrease our risk of developing cancer and redeveloping cancer or having a recurrence of cancer. We also help our body to fight cancer if we're going through cancer treatments at that time. So focusing on that immune system. And there is a free guide that I have that's the 21 ways to boost the immune system to help prevent cancer. You can get that on my website and I'll send you the link out later too. So cancer is caused by toxic exposures, toxic burden, toxic overload. It damages the cells, increases inflammation, alters the immune responses. They take over and they are in control and they cause everything that we've talked about with hormone related cancers to flourish. They cause an overload of estrogen. They cause an overload of cortisol, they in, increase in inflammation and poor metabolic responses. Toxins can come from plastics, metals, preservatives, makeup, pollution, pesticides, so much more. And you're going to say to me, well, Marsha, um, there's toxins everywhere. So why bother? I might as well just take my chances. I don't want to hear that kind of stuff. What I want to tell you is how to make the changes to decrease your toxic burden. Because yes, you're going to have toxic exposures, but you need to have a body that can eliminate that, that doesn't absorb it, that fights it off that doesn't let it build up and just keep recirculating throughout your body. So how the body is equipped to eliminate the toxins is what makes all the difference in the magnitude of your threat and your overall risk. So in my program, we work on toxic exposures and toxic burden and decreasing that overload. Cancer also comes in as a lack of nutrition because food and nutrition are different things. We are actually a starving society, even though we're obese because we're not getting nutrition into our bodies. We're eating a lot of food, but those foods are just empty calories. When you get nutrition, you're fueling the body, you're fueling the mitochondria, you're priming the immune system, you're supporting every process the body has in place to take care of itself. Because the body is so resilient when you give it what it needs. If you can't give it what it needs, it's going to start failing us. And that is where cancer is taking over and becoming that number one cause of death because our bodies are failing us because we're failing our bodies. Nutrition gives you phytonutrients, phytochemicals, phytoestrogens, micronutrients, macronutrients. All of these things have a purpose. They're antioxidant, which means they decrease oxidative stress, which means they decrease that damage that's happening to the cell and they decrease that spread of cancer. They're anti-inflammatory. So they decrease the inflammation that fuels cancer. There are certain vegetables and certain phytonutrients and chemicals that literally fight cancer. 
So you need to get a variety. You need to get the right nutrition. That is what I do with nutrition education and helping you to balance everything. It's not that you have to be super strict and you can never touch anything that's so-called bad. I teach the real world life. I teach you how to get the stuff that you need so that when you're eating the stuff that you don't really need, it's not going to have all the bad effects. Because when you just keep fueling your body with this non-nutritive crap, this overload of you know chemicals and colors, and I, I could go on and on, you're not you're not helping yourself. Those should be treats. Those should not be your everyday source of food and energy. So now cancer is also fueled by inflammation. We've talked about that. Inflammation is like gas on a fire. In an inflamed body, the cell mutation and tumor growth take over. So it's just, woof, it's got growth hormones in it. It's got so many other chemicals and, and things that we haven't talked about, hormones and neurotransmitters that make things grow rapidly. Um, inflammation, we talked about how it fuels um, insulin release and insulin is a growth hormone. So yes, it's going to make the tumor grow faster. The immune system gets broken down and it gets dampened. And that is because the inflammation has it going all over the place, looking for fire that's just kind of smoldering areas instead of actual sparks and flames. We want our body to identify sparks and flames and to be able to get rid of the damaged stuff and not just going around looking for things that are you know, blowing smoke and, and distracting them from what's really happening. Um, and when there's a lot of inflammation, there's a lot of blood clotting. So that's another thing that's going to impair your healing and decrease your ability to repair your body because you've got blood clots in the system. So you're setting yourself up for other problems. Where does inflammation come from? Well, it comes from toxins. It comes from chemicals. It comes from stress, poor sleep, infections, uh, poor gut health. So things like overuse of antibiotics, um, foods that you know are inflammatory that have chemicals in them. And that I go into the, in deep in the program. It, it's, we don't want to talk about that right here. But there are certain foods that are literally made to get you addicted to um, chemicals that make you get addicted to certain foods and those are inflammatory because they're foreign to the body. So that's part of the stuff that we work on and we learn how to recognize and identify. Cancer is on the rise. Like over 2 million people will be, di will be diagnosed with cancer this year. Breast cancer is the number one diagnosed cancer. And every single year, nearly 42,000 women die of breast cancer, making it the second leading cause of cancer death among women in the United States. That is astounding for something that can be prevented and managed. Cancer is targeting estrogen-dependent reproductive organs. We talked about estrogen. We talked about the imbalance. We talked about the poor metabolism of estrogen in our previous you know, a uh, session that is what's increasing the risk. Estrogen itself is not bad. We need estrogen. It makes us women. It makes us who we are. It protects us from certain things. It makes our bones strong and healthy. It's an imbalance of estrogen and poor metabolism of estrogen and poor excretion of xenoestrogens, which are the fake estrogens that are setting us up for cancer. So we need to identify and correct hormone imbalance that is critical. And to find those imbalances, you must test. We talked about the Dutch plush test yesterday, and I'm going to talk about it again. You, you need that test if nothing else. Cancer is the number one cause of death in the United States. It is not time for us to sit back and just go, oh, woe is me. What am I going to do about it? This is where we take action and this is where we change the future. This is where we all start to learn, identify what's happening, identify our own personal risks and start to make the changes. It's not as hard as you think. Everybody wants to go, ooh, that healthy life. No, the healthy life is wonderful. You get up every morning energized. You're, you've got vitality. You want to take on the day. You're productive. You're making things happen. You're moving and you're preventing cancer. So that doesn't sound bad to me at all. So to identify, we're identifying our genetic links to cancer. We are identifying our hormones and our hormone imbalance when we're talking about treating uh, cancer from a hormone focused status. Insulin, we need to know where our insulin levels are. We need to know what our metabolic status is. We need to know where inflammation lies and there's tests for us to show inflammation. It's ferritin, it's a CRP, um, all these things you, you probably don't care about, but I do. 
that I can say, I can see where your body is and your current state of health and where we need to treat and where we need to focus. Then there's immune repair. We want that immune system to be able to not only identify a damaged cell, but to get rid of it, clear it out of our body. That is what we're made to do. Let's boost our immune system. Let's take care of this and let's not let this continue to grow out of control. And then our mitochondria, we've got to focus on those mitochondria. Just a mitochondria focused nutrition plan alone will change everything for you. You'll have energy, abundance of energy. You're going to lose weight. You're going to feel amazing. It's going to take care of this next one, the metabolism. Metabolism is how you focus on glucose and how you metabolize the glucose and how your insulin levels are affected. When you treat the mitochondria, you treat the metabolism because the mitochondria they mat are the master of metabolism. They're the master of everything. They run and make every single cell in our body. Then we have obesity. We've got to manage obesity. It is astounding how many states are predominantly obese that our body mass index is over 30. So obesity is secreting estrogen. Obesity is decreasing our response to, you know, threats because it's decreasing our immune system. It's raising our insulin levels. It's raising our inflammation. So we focus on obesity by focusing on inflammation and focusing on balance and getting nutrition into our body. Then we look at toxins. We have to look at what's your toxic burden. We want to attack the toxic burden. We want to learn to eliminate. I want to get you taking that out of your body. So anything you're exposed to, you're, you've got an armor, shield of armor on you, and you're able to process it and get rid of it and not let it just keep recirculating throughout your, your body to be able to cause damage and mutations to the cells that will turn into cancer cells and turn into tumors. Then we're going to address, this is the next part of our step of hormone-focused cancer care. We're going to address that toxic burden. We're going to address those overloads to the immune system. Those, um, those burdens, they limit your recovery from cancer. They don't just set you up for development of cancer. They also limit your recovery because you're not able to fight when you are trying to get rid of toxins and you just have this toxic overload that just keeps recirculating when you're trying to eliminate something. It, it just doesn't work. You're, you're fighting a losing battle. You're fighting an uphill battle that you don't need to fight. Increasing the risk of toxic effects from chemo and radiation. That's what also happens when you've got too much toxins. That's where the side effects come from. Remember when I told you that cancer is not an emergency. If we stop when you get that diagnosis for cancer, when we stop and we take a look at the big picture and we, we detox your body first, we, we get your body to where it's eliminating and processing toxins. Then you can start your treatments, whatever you choose to do, but let's get you into a healthy state first and let's help you to be able to tolerate your treatments that you choose to go through in a better way. So you aren't tired, you aren't wore down, you aren't fighting an uphill battle, your, your treatments are going to work better and faster with less side effects when you do this the right way. When you're fighting cancer, you want a clean system. That's going to help you to repair and rebuild. And please don't just go, I'm going to do a detox because the timing of all of this is also very important because if you are going through cancer treatments and you decide that you're going to do a, a, a detox, you don't want to do it while you're doing your actual treatments because when we detox and we clear out, we're clearing out the chemo. <laughs> that is not what we want to do. When we do alternative treatments like vitamin C, IV vitamin C, I do a lot of that in my practice. When we're doing those things, we want to time it correctly so that you're not shedding your chemo because vitamin C detoxifies the body. It will pull out heavy metals. It will pull out all these other toxic buildups, but it also will pull out the chemo. So we have to, we have to manage and balance all those things. So that's why you need someone who is an expert in this field. And that is why you need someone who's got experience with guiding you with it. So this is the, this is how we address things. The other thing is you want to avoid sugar because sugar fuels cancer cells. It is throwing the gas on it. It's making it replicate and grow rapidly. Look at our bodies from the overload of sugar. They're growing rapidly. You want to do a good detox two to three times a year, just if you're doing a prevention of recurrence or um, developing cancer, you want to detox. 
You want to use organic foods because that's eliminating the pesticides and the chemicals that are used and to grow the food bigger and better and stronger and without, um, you know, uh, little blemishes in them. But all of that goes into our bodies and we've already got exposure to it in our water supply and our, our food supply and our soil because it's used so widely in our our country um, that it it's still in there. But that's another reason you when I say you want to decrease your toxic burden, I don't want you saying, well, something's going to get me because what I'm telling you is we can make things less toxic. You're going to get some toxic exposure that you have no control over, but we're going to control the things we can control. We want to fuel your body in our treatment plan. We want to make sure you're getting the right nutrients to the cofactors that help you to balance the hormones, make your transmitters talk correctly, make those mitochondria run like well-oiled well -oiled machinery and give you all the energy that you need to fight the fight. We're going to eliminate. That elimination helps get those toxins out any kind of toxic burden, you know, whether it's a heavy metal, whether it's a pesticide, whether it's a chemo, no matter what it is, we want to get it out of your system. Chemo is toxic. Chemo is destructive. Radiation is toxic and destructive. If you're going through those treatments, we want to help you to eliminate. You, it needs to do what it has to do, but you don't want it to keep recirculating in your body. It's only going to cause more damage. And then you're going to end up with recurrence and you're going to end up with a metastasis and you're going to have cancer in another location. That's how that occurs. And that's one of the things that isn't taught. You don't know this. And so when you don't know this, you just go on blindly. That's that false sense of cured. We're not doing that. I want you to have the information. We need to address self-care, the mind, the body, and the spirit. I'm going to put these three together because self-care is spiritual care. You have to make sure that you can rejuvenate or you're never, ever going to clear everything. The mind is so very powerful. You need to give it time to rest. You need to give it positive thoughts. You need to give it affirmations. You need to be able to think with gratitude and find the half full instead of the half empty glass. Because when those things happen, you're addressing the inflammation. I know, crazy, right? And then there's your spirit. You've got to have a spirit. You've got to have a higher power. You've got to have something that gets you through the, the tough times. Your spirit is there. It's always been there. You're born with it. Whatever you call it, however you address it, it is there. You may have been a little out of touch with it for a while. And that may have been one of the things that set you up for being diagnosed with cancer and developing cancer. It's because your spiritual needs have been neglected, which means your self-care has been neglected, which means your mind has been neglected. The spirit is so powerful. And when I told you that you may end this journey in a better place, and you may be having an inner peace, it's because you're going to shed yourself of all the negative toxicity. You're going to, you're going to get rid of all those old burdens that you've been carrying for so long because a mental burden sometimes can be more detrimental to you than a xenoestrogen burden. Burden, And those are the things that we work on. That is why this is a holistic care approach. We're going to test, we're going to balance, we're going to repair, rebuild, and protect. That's part of the whole functional medicine, cancer-focused management of, you know, hormone-focused management of your cancer. And this is my, my approach. Protect, repair, prevent, conquer, thrive. That is what we want to do. We do not want to destroy. We want to protect, repair, prevent, conquer, and thrive. That is a positive outlook and approach on cancer management. Functional medicine, this is what it's about. Functional medicine addresses not just the body, but the mind and the spirit, as I just told you. The person, not the symptoms, not the diagnosis, the person, because the body has to heal the person, not the diagnosis and the symptoms. Functional medicine focuses on your life and what makes you who you are, as well as what is causing any imbalance and how to correct that within your life. Functional medicine goes beyond the standard labs. We dig deeper. We look at the information from a different perspective because how many times were you told that everything was normal and then you developed cancer and you go, well, why didn't anybody know? How did this not get caught? Why do I have breast cancer now? Well, it's because we look at things a little different. We order tests a little differently. This is a very specialized type of care, hormone focused care for a life of vitality that prevents cancer. That's what I do. And I look at all these tests in a little bit different fashion. And I give you the real information. I actually explain it to you. 
the testing that we do, <clears throat> the Dutch Plus. This is my all-time favorite go-to gold standard for hormone imbalance and for identifying your risk factors and treating your hormone imbalance that is going to increase your risk for developing cancer. This test gives you a very extensive assessment of the sex and adrenal hormones, as well as their metabolites, meaning the thing, metabolism. We keep talking about that, the way they are metabolized. It checks estrogen, testosterone, cortisol, progesterone, melatonin, all of those things. They are, are looked at as along with lots of other things. There's so many tests in this. And it gives us the true picture of what's happening so that we can rebalance that. You can actually order this test yourself, um, MarshaJonesMP.com under testing. Um, I mean, it doesn't tell you how to manage everything, but if you want to look at it, you can do that. And it's one of my requirements for my one-to-one uh, -one coaching for cancer care. So then we also have a GI 360. This um, I told you microbiome is where serotonin is produced. There's a connection between estrogen and serotonin um, and all of those hormone related conditions we talked about in our previous uh, session. Bacteria, viruses, parasites, digestion, absorption, inflammation, all of these things are what we are able to identify in the GI 360 and a lot of toxins. So we can see how you're eliminating what you're holding on to um, in your absorption. And obviously, as I said, your, your inflame, inflammation. If you are someone who has inflammation, your weight goes up and down, you've got joint pain, autoimmune disorders, food sensitivities, um, abdominal pain, IBS, nutritional deficiencies, you can find out a lot with this test. So again, it's one that you can order, MarshaJonesMP.com under testing, um, highly recommended. And it again is a requirement for my one-to-one -one program because if we're gonna make this happen and we're gonna do the six month commitment and I'm gonna help you to manage your cancer, prevent, fight, recover, we're gonna have all the information we need and we're gonna do it the way we need to do it. That is called personalization of your care. Then there's this neurotransmitter uh, micronutrient and urinary hormone test by Vibrant Wellness. So if you want a broad coverage, I, I do order micronutrient testing, um, but if you want to try to put all that together and see your neurotransmitters, which, you know, if you're having a lot of a psychological uh, imbalance, we, we do it with this test. Um, it covers most of the things that are in the other two tests as well, except not, not the GI 360, excuse me but it gives us a lot of information. This also is available on my website. So here's the resources for all the stuff that we've been talking about. You've got your guide to preventing cancer, your guide to hormone imbalance, the health interventions for cancer program, the six month one-to-one -one consulting and coaching program with me. These are all resources for you in your fight. The 21 ways to boost your immune system to prevent cancer is at marshajonesnp.com backslash cancer hyphen prevention hyphen guide. You got to put those little marks in there or it doesn't pop up, but I'm also going to send you the link. Then there's the signs of imbalance for women. This is your free guide. Again, for signs of imbalance, you can find this at the bottom of my website. There's a spot that you can um, put in your email and it'll pop it up and you'll get uh, that sent to your email for you to you look over. It explains a little bit about the hormones and how their imbalances occur and how they cause the symptoms that you're having. Then here is my baby, the Health Interventions for Cancer program. Um, this I've talked a lot about. This is your general overview of cancer. So this is men, women. Um, it's, it's a lot of cancer information, uh, prevention, uh, how it happens, uh, how we fight it. Um, and I'm going to go over those things with what all is in it. But I am working on doing a hormone-focused cancer prevention um, program also that's an on-demand just in case you don't want to work one-on-one, -on -one, you're one of those, um, let me do it myself kind of people. Um, I'm going to be putting out one of those also, but this one covers most everything that's in the hormone ones. And we've just covered a lot about the hormones in this program. So you put it all together, boom, you've got the total package. Talks about what cancer is, how cancer happens, general nutrition, phytonutrients, genetics, environmental toxins, the immune system, inflammation, and cancer. Stress in cancer, sleep in cancer, hormones in cancer, the microbiome in cancer, obesity in cancer, eating for the mitochondria, spirituality, self-love, self-care, herbals, medicinal mushrooms, detox, intermittent fasting, nutrition during cancer treatments, recipes, and a functional evaluation in cancer. So what do you think of that? You think that's quite a bit of information? If you think I've told you a lot over the last three days, when you get into this program, you're going to be blown away. 
So this is all for just $497. That is an incredible deal, people, incredible. Because all that is it, that is in there, that is months and months of one-to-one -one, all into $497. So for those attending the summit, you can do this code, this three-day summit code, get $100 off of it even, just because you listened to me for three days. That's $397. So at MarciaJonesMP.com under services is where you'll find it. Now, this is what it would be like to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Weekly calls, progress tracking, accountability, messaging in between, motivation. This is where you get six months of me as your personal functional medicine provider and health mentor. I am all in one. I'm your cheerleader, motivator, advocate, your counselor, your trusted confidant, and your personal health expert, all in one. And this is what we do. We assess your current health, your goals, your motivation. We identify your mind, body, and spiritual needs. Then we go into functional testing and labs, your hormones, nutritional status, your gut health. And then we take some action. We're going to treat that functional imbalance, rebalance, repair, detoxify, give you some nutritional advice and replenishment, sleep, stress, and emotional healing. I only have a few limited spots for this because I take only so many on at a time for the one-to-ones because I do have a regular practice where I see patients. Um, and I also spend a lot of time with one-on-one. -on -one. This is your concierge service. So if you're interested in working with me, you need that one-on-one -on -one kind of support. Um, go to MarciaJonesNP.com. Um, it's under work with Marsha. <clears throat> you fill out the form. My team will reach out. They'll review how the program works, the cost, all that good stuff, and the availability. And then after that, we let the journey begin. And so you know a few things about working with me. Um, I might sound all perky and peppy, and I am. I will be your motivator. I will be your supporter. But I want you to be ready to make changes. I don't do well with a lot of excuses. I don't do well with poor little me because that is not going to change you. <clears throat> it is not a quick fix, and it is not a gimmick. If those are the things you're looking for, that's not what you're going to find here. What you're going to get here is real life changing experiences. You are going to learn yourself inside and out what makes you tick and how to change all of these things that set you up for cancer. If you have cancer, if you're tired, if you're wore out, you're hating life, you're struggling through every day, this is what you need. There are going to be moments when you're frustrated, you're going to want to give up, but that's why you need me. That's why I'm saying I'm not going to give up on you. You're not going to give up on yourself because you are stronger than you probably think. And a lot of women, unfortunately, don't have someone to stand behind them, to lift them up and to encourage them and let them know these things. I'm that for you. We're going to have celebration times. We're going to have joy. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to have a good time when you get an accomplishment. And I'm going to remind you of those accomplishments and I'm going to cheer you on so you don't forget them because when you make the little successes you sometimes forget about it because you're looking at that big goal at the end but that's why we work on goal creation and celebrating the small steps and it all matters because life is about the ups and downs life is about the choices you want to learn how to appreciate and each one of those struggles and triumphs because they all matter in the end we're going to manage those hormones we're going to do the weekly coaching we're going to message you know you might have a question about something in between our appointments it's okay send me a message I'm going to give you an abundance of materials to utilize during the program and beyond, but it isn't all that you get. It isn't just give me handouts and uh, see you later, alligator. It's you're going to get health related emails, access to health interventions with Marsha Jones. That's where I show you how to cook. Um, this is going to be live events and post event recordings like these ones that I'm doing right now on lots of hormone related topics. You are getting everything with this one on one. And like I said, if you're ready to find answers and make a change, this is for you. It's not a diagnose, treat and done, diagnose and done because that's what you've been dealing with already. And that's how you've gotten here. This is a whole different approach. You're not going to figure it out on your own. I'm going to help you. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to enable you. But you're, we're going to help each other. The program is not just eat better and move more. That is the worst advice I've ever heard. And it never works. It does not just give you handouts and expect you to take it from there. It offers you real solutions that are customized to you. The program also covers nutrition, detoxifying your body and the environment, mind work, lifestyle, activity, self-care, immune support, gut health, nutrient optimization, herbals, integrative therapies, and so much more. So thank you so much for 
entertaining me for or letting me entertain you for these last three days. Um, I hope that you have gotten some valuable information in this. I would love to work with you. If you're not ready to work one-on-one, -on -one, that's okay. Get that program. Get the Health Interventions for Cancer program. That's why it's there. It is affordable. It is packed full of information. It is going to help you help yourself. But if you need more one-on-one, -on -one, you need that person that's going to lift you up, encourage you, and be there for you every step of the way, then let's do the one-on-one -on -one consulting. But anyway, thank you so much. Blessings in health. Wherever you are in your cancer journey, I pray that you are doing well. So that is all that I have to say for you today. Thank you again. I'll be sending this out to you, and I wish you the very best, and I hope to be working with you soon.